God spoke to me and he even gave me a message as he was speaking to me and he said there is an uninvited guest that always come to the every service that we have he isn't invited but he comes anyhow and the Lord said you need to anoint the whole congregation hallelujah anoint them with oil of anointing showing forth my anointing up on him and them because what it is the devil come to steal kill and destroy the devil comes with us every time have you ever said you want to pray and things begin to happen things begin to fight against you have you ever said you wanted to fast and it seemed like your body just won't allow you to fast? That's the trick of the adversary. He don't want us to fast and pray because fasting and praying put us in contact with our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And he said there is an uninvited guest that's always in everything that you start to do, the devil's right there. Our message today will be coming from Job the first chapter the sixth and seventh verse and also the second chapter uh, one you can put it up on the board if we ask you to stand at, as we read hallelujah these few verses together and I want this to sink into your spirit as you read this these words let us read now there was a day when the sons of God came to present themselves before the Lord and Satan came also among them and the Lord said unto Satan which cometh thou then Satan answered the Lord and said from going to and fro in the earth and from walking up and down in it second two and one let us read this again Again, there was a day when the sons of God came to present themselves before the Lord and Satan came also among them to present himself before the Lord. Father, in the most precious and the most intimate name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, we come at this time for we need a touch from on high. We need you, Almighty God, to send down your rhema word anoint your word almighty God as it come down unto us and through us today Heavenly Father allow me to be the first first partaker of your word because almighty God hallelujah your word is like a two-edged sword it cuts going out and cuts coming back in Heavenly Father help us almighty God to govern ourselves according to your divine word help us to elevate our minds almighty God and set our affection on things that are above for things that are seen are temporal, but things that are not seen are eternal. So, Heavenly Father, we need that rainbow word today, Almighty God. We need a word of encouragement. We need a word, Almighty God, that will get us up off our seat and get us up on our feet. We need your word, Almighty God, to speak to our spirit, to our soul, and to our hearts. We need your word, Almighty God, to instruct us and lead us in the right way. You told us in your word, after the Holy Ghost come, hallelujah, we shall become a witness unto you in Jerusalem, Judea and Samaria and to the uttermost parts of the earth uh, Heavenly Father today we stand in this rostrum uh, as an empty vessel of myself and fill it with your presence uh, you speak Lord put Melvin in the background and you speak to your people today uh, you know what they have need of Lord God uh, and you know what they're hungering and thirsting for uh, I heard you say almighty God that you would feed their, uh, satisfy their hunger and quench their thirst oh God uh, Heavenly Father we ask you today let us drink of the oh, heavenly water from on high. Huh? Let us almighty God give be given the water that we will not have to come to the well to draw anymore huh? but we will have that water of eternal life uh, we ask you to touch every each and every person uh, in the precious name of Jesus we pray amen and amen you may be seated in the presence of God hallelujah hallelujah the uninvited guests how many of you know that the devil we say God does not sleep in slumber how many of you know the devil does not sleep in slumber either because he's a spirit. 
He's an evil spirit gone to and fro throughout the land. Brother Peter said he'd gone like a roaring lion throughout the land seeking whom he may devour. And every time you and I want to get a little closer to Jesus, the adversary rise up his, raise up his ugly head and try his best to keep us from accomplishing what God want us to to accomplish uh, hallelujah how many of you know hallelujah before you even came to church this morning uh, hallelujah before you even got in the shower the devil had already had his plan in action praise be the name of God uh, and he was going to try to hinder you and I some way to keep us from enjoying the pleasures of the Lord hallelujah but I am so glad that God said where two or three are gathered in my name I will be in the midst hallelujah so see the devil might hold his way in here on us uh, praise be the name of God uh, but there's one here today that's able to bind that evil spirit uh, there's one here today is able to lift you and I up out of the place of despair uh, glory be the name of God uh, so as we talk about this uninvited guest uh, what do you mean Bishop Mo, when you say uninvited guests uh, is somebody that has not got an invitation to, to be at your party uh, hallelujah he's a party crusher uh, hallelujah and he does not come uh, to do you and I any good uh, but he come to destroy because that's his nature uh, he come to destroy hallelujah what God is building up uh, but I say unto you today hallelujah I heard the word of God said greater is he that is in us uh, than he that is in the world uh, hallelujah the subject Today is hallelujah the uninvited guests uh, I wonder today if you have that invited guests uh, did he ride in on your shoulders today uh, or did he ride in on your back uh, hallelujah praise be the name of God he come to destroy the service of the most high God uh, hallelujah and it's no different back there as it is today hallelujah when the sons of God back in the book of Job uh, came up to present themselves before God uh, because of the angelic beings praise God uh, and they were spiritual beings and so they would go back and make a report unto God uh, hallelujah and they tell us in the word of God uh, when the sons of God appeared back uh, unto God almighty said also Satan came along uh, for you all know uh, Satan was one of the most beautiful angels that God created uh, he was very intelligent uh, and all the music instruments was inside of him and I heard God said you was perfect until iniquity was found in you so when he appeared before the throne of God God began to inquire and said where do you come from hallelujah he said I come from going to and fro in the earth in other words I'm looking for somebody that I may jerk them out of your hand but I heard the word of God said if any man be in my hand no man can pluck him out if any man be in my father's hand nobody can pluck him out hallelujah and then hallelujah when God asked Satan where did you come from and he said gone to and fro in the earth he said have you considered my servant Job that he's an upright man a just man one that hallelujah hates evil evil uh, hallelujah and the devil said yes uh, hallelujah Job is serving you uh, but he's not serving you for not uh, glory be the name of God you got a hedge around him uh, hallelujah uh, what you mean I got a hedge around him uh, glory be the name of God the devil said I've tried to afflict him uh, I try to touch him uh, but I can't touch him because you got a hedge around him uh, and I heard the Lord God says uh, hallelujah do you know that Job is an upright man a holy man in other words glory be the name of God and old Satan said but I tell you what hallelujah just like I'm going to do all your creatures and creation hallelujah I'm going to deceive them I'm going to make them curse you to your face and Jesus said you can go 
form back down and touch him uh, hallelujah but his life is in my hand uh, hallelujah so the devil when he left the presence of God uh, he went back and he afflicted poor brother Job uh, the first thing he done uh, hallelujah Job was one of the richest men of the east uh, hallelujah had thousands and thousands of animals uh, had ten loving children uh, praise be the name of God uh, and as hallelujah uh, as he was meditating upon the goodness of God uh, hallelujah one of the servants came uh, and said the enemy had come down upon us uh, and killed all your servants uh, and I alone was left alive uh, to bring you news about it uh, hallelujah and so all your animals that you had uh, they are taken by the enemy and your servants are killed uh, hallelujah and no sooner he finished his uh, words of discouragement uh, here come another one said uh, hallelujah Chaldeans uh, hallelujah have fell upon your people uh, and killed their servants out there watching them uh, and took all the animals uh, and that wasn't bad enough uh, hallelujah no one came and said my master uh, I was out there watching uh, hallelujah your oxen uh, and all of a sudden a bunch of enemies came out of nowhere uh, and fell upon us uh, and they killed all the servants but me uh, hallelujah and they took all the animals uh, and you don't think that was enough uh, to upset Job uh, praise be the name of God here here come another servant running uh, and said Job your ten children uh, was hallelujah at the house and having a banquet in the house uh, and a wind came uh, and blowed up on the house where they were at uh, and the house fell uh, and all your children was killed uh, not a one of them was left alive uh, and I can see Job uh, sitting down in ashes uh, hallelujah and sackcloth uh, and began to say within himself uh, hallelujah if you read the word of God uh, you see where he cursed the day that he was born uh, hallelujah and he began to say to the Lord uh, let not that day be remembered no more uh, hallelujah but I'm here today to tell you uh, although the uninvited uh, hallelujah victim uh, hallelujah the guest uh, hallelujah has come into our midst uh, go glory be the name of God uh, sometimes hallelujah uh, he will try to trip you and I up uh, he will put evil thoughts and evil words in our mouth uh, hallelujah praise God uh, have you ever tried to uh, hallelujah begin to touch heaven uh, and as you pray and uh, hallelujah the adversary gets on one side uh, and he begin to whisper in your ear uh, and said what you doing all that foolishness for uh, don't you know God cannot help you uh, God don't love you uh, he done the same thing with Eve and Adam uh, in the garden of Eden uh, hallelujah said God don't want you to be like him uh, but he knows when you eat of the tree uh, of good and evil uh, you're going to be wise like God your eyes going to be open uh, hallelujah saints of God the only thing our eyes are going to be open to by the devil uh, hallelujah is sin and destruction uh, hallelujah wasting uh, along the way praise God uh, trying to condemn you and I uh, trying to bring us into captivity uh, but I'm here today to tell you hallelujah uh, praise be the name of God uh, put your trust in Jesus uh, for nobody can do you like Jesus uh, hallelujah somebody said uh, he's a lawyer in the courtroom uh, he's a doctor in the hospital room uh, hallelujah he healer and a deliverer hallelujah he come to put the sickness afflictions upon you and I hallelujah stop and think of something Jesus carried and bore all of our sickness he carried all of our sorrows upon himself so if he carried all of our sickness and our sorrows upon himself why are we trying to carry them today praise be the name of God we got to realize one thing he said I have been anointed hallelujah to heal the sick God I have been anointed to open prison doors I, hallelujah I came to bring you out of captivity and bondage I, hallelujah I come to set you free I, glory be the name
name of God. Hallelujah. And Job in all of his affliction and all of the distress that he might have had, Job held to his integrity. He, he didn't lose his identity. He held on to God's unchanging hand. And they tell me that his wife even got involved in the picture and said, why don't you curse God and die? Hallelujah. But he said, you speak like a foolish woman. The Lord God giveth and the Lord God taketh away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. And that wasn't bad enough. But seven of his so-called friends, I mean three of his so-called friends, they came, hallelujah, and they sat down for seven days, Sister Pam, and they didn't say a word to him. They just sat there and looked at him. Hallelujah. And on the seventh day, when they opened up their mouth, they began to say, Job, you know you have sinned. Why don't you admit it to God so God will move the thing off of you? Hallelujah. Job said, I have not sinned. Praise be the name of God. I'm going to wait for my change to come. Hallelujah. And the word of God tells me on the other another occasion here here comes the sons of God hallelujah after he had done tempted Job after he had done took everything Job had he went back among the sons of God he said oh yes oh will a man give you flesh for flesh hallelujah but you let me talk, touch his body and I'll guarantee that he curse you to your face and God said all right Satan you can go back down and touch Job but his life is in my hands don't you know the devil can't do nothing to us unless God permit it the devil can't come through the blood of Jesus because you and I are covered by the blood and what did he tell them in, down in Egypt he told them to paint upon the doorposts and the little of the doors and they said when I come by and I see the blood I will pass over you hallelujah praise be the name of God hallelujah what you talking about Lord he said when the death angel come to the land and the death angel see the blood he will pass over that hallelujah the devil can't get through the blood of Jesus so that's the reason it's necessary for you and I to stay under the blood hallelujah glory be the name of God there's safety under the blood there's healing under the blood hallelujah praise be the name of God hallelujah the blood of Jesus can make me white as snow I don't care how black and dirty your sin might be the blood of Jesus hallelujah the song said nothing but the blood of Jesus what can make me whole again nothing but the blood of Jesus oh glory be the name of God thank God for the blood if it had not been for the blood you and I would still be under our sin but with the shedding of blood is a remitting of sin hallelujah I'm so glad that my sins is under the blood of Jesus the sins I done in my early life I'm glad they under the blood of Jesus and as long as I stay under the blood hallelujah God gonna watch over me he's gonna protect me hallelujah so the devil went on back down now you remember now he done took all the uh, animals he had hallelujah the friends done turned against him his wife had turned against him hallelujah glory his children had gone ten children was Christ under the house the pressure of the house when it collapsed hallelujah and Job hallelujah in all of this he held on to his integrity hallelujah Job said I came into this world with nothing and I'm going to leave without nothing but one thing I'm going to do I'm going to hold on to God's unchanging hand I'm going to stay right here hallelujah I'm going to wait for my change to come but Job you've been afflicted so long you lost everything and you're still going to hold on to your integrity and Job said yes I'm going to wait for my change to come you see I got a change to come you might be in a battle right now or you might be weathering a storm hallelujah I'm here today to tell you you may be weeping in the night season hallelujah 
hallelujah, but I'm here to tell you joy is all coming along in the morning. Hallelujah. Hold on to God's unchanging hand. Shake that devil off your back. Put him out of your mind when he tried to come. Hallelujah. Find a dwelling place. Put up a sign and say no vacancy. Hallelujah. My All of I, me is already filled up with Jesus Christ. I'm already wrapped up, tied up, and tangled up in Jesus. I'm already a servant of the most high God. I'm already on my way to glory. And I'm so glad. Hallelujah. So W my will take your bag of tricks and move on out of my way. Because you see, I'm hooked up with Jesus. Hallelujah. I'm addicted to Jesus. Hallelujah. And you don't realize I'm very contagious. Hallelujah. Glory be the name of God. You see, I got to end with Jesus. Hallelujah. Because I repented of my sin and I was baptized in his name. Hallelujah. And he filled me with the Holy Ghost. And he said, after the Holy Ghost come, you shall have power to be a witness unto me. Starting in Jerusalem to and Judea and Samaria and to the uttermost parts of the earth. Hallelujah. I wonder today, do you have the victory? I wonder today, hallelujah, if your sins have been forgiven. I wonder today that are you still wrestling with the devil? I wonder today if you're still in the valley of despair. It's time for you and I to raise ourselves up out of the dust and out of the corruption and the filth that's in the world and shake it off. Hallelujah. The farmer said a story one time. He was talking about he had a goat and said praise God he had a well in his yard. Glory be the name of God. And he went into town and when he come back he couldn't find the goat. Hallelujah. But he heard the goat down in the well and the goat hallelujah was in distress glory be the name of God he couldn't climb up out of the well and the farmer couldn't didn't have no way to get him out he said so I'll just cover him up with dirt in the well praise be the name of God and the farmer began to throw the dirt in all oh, hallelujah on the goat and every time the dirt would get on the goat back he would shake it off hallelujah praise be the name of God and sometimes the devil gets on our back and we got to shake him off hallelujah why are you shaking him off Bishop Mama hallelujah cause the dirt, dirt that is thrown up on me and when I shake it off it's making me come a little higher it make me come a little higher hallelujah hallelujah and he kept on doing it hallelujah the dirt kept hitting me on the back and he kept shaking off and all of a sudden Sister Pam, he looked and he didn't he didn't realize at first. He looked and he could see the top of the well. Praise be the name of God. You see the well is you can almost see the top of the well. Hallelujah. Let the devil throw all the dirt he wants up on you but keep on shaking off. Keep on shaking off. Hallelujah. Pretty soon hallelujah it's going to fill up. Hallelujah. When the goat realize. Hallelujah and his head filled up. He realized all I had to do now is, is step off. Step off. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of God. Hallelujah. That's all you and I got to do. When a affliction and sickness come upon your body, hallelujah, shake it off. Shake it off. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of God. It didn't belong you in the first place. Hallelujah. Because God carried all of our sickness. He bore all of our sickness. He carried all of our sin upon himself. Hallelujah. And now all you and have that do is when the devil do something to you, shake it off. Shake it off. Hallelujah. How can you do this, Bishop Mulberry? How can I shake it off? I'm only a human being. Hallelujah. You are a human being. You are a temple of the living God. And God is living on the inside. Greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. I can shake off whatever the devil throw at me. And that's what Job was talking about. Oh, my point of time. I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait. Oh, my point of time. I'm going to wait. I got to change 
coming. I, I got a change coming. You might see me living a day. Brother Carr might be living a day. But I'm going to shake it off. I'm going to shake it off. Because he said, by my stripes, you are healed. You were healed. Our healing has already been taken care of. Hallelujah. I'm on my way to heaven. And I'm so glad. Sister Diane, I'm on my way to heaven. And I'm so glad. I might be walking slow. Hallelujah. But Brother Brady, I'm, I'm, I'm making steps. I'm heading on up. I heard someone said I'm too close to the kingdom. I'm too close. Hallelujah. I can almost see his face. Hallelujah. We're climbing up the rough side of the mountain. We're coming up, Lord. We're coming up, Lord. Hallelujah. Here I come, Lord. I'm not coming very fast, but I know I got a change coming. Hallelujah. What you see now is not what you're going to end up seeing. You see right now, I'm not pure gold. Hallelujah. But when I come out of the furnace, I'm going to be pure gold. Hallelujah. I have habits and I have thoughts. Hallelujah. Just like any human being. But praise be the name of God. I got the victory. I got the victory. I got the victory. Hallelujah. Do you have the victory? Hallelujah. Have God already pulled you out? I remember my son, one time he preached a message. God to pull you out if you can stand the pull. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of God. Hallelujah. And you don't have to wait till the old. Hallelujah. One foot in the grave and another one a banana peeling. You don't have to wait that long. You can come to Jesus like you are. Hallelujah. But you don't understand, Bishop Mama. My mind is not made up and my heart is not fixed. And let me tell you a little secret. Your mind will never be made up because that's the human the faculty of us. Hallelujah. The way we think. Hallelujah. I don't believe God can do this. I don't believe God can do that. I want to ask the question. If you under the care of a doctor and the doctor prescribes something for you and he tells you to take this pill every so often and you only can do it so many days. Hallelujah. And you take that medication and take it home and put it up on a mantle and say that doctor don't know what he's talking about. Uh, praise be the name of God. Hallelujah. Well, you better uh, obey the way that rule over you. Hallelujah. Because that doctor, he knows what you have need of. He's a doctor. He's had training for that. Hallelujah. So if a doctor can tell you what you need to take to help uh, the symptoms that you have, hallelujah. How much does our heavenly father who made us in the first place, he created us in his likeness and his image. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of God. Say to God what we need to learn to do. I'm trying to learn it more and more every day. Hallelujah. When the devil knocks on your door. I said when the devil knocks on your door. Don't run and open the door. <laughs> Hallelujah. Call up your big brother Jesus. Hallelujah. Say, Jesus, would you answer that door for me? Hallelujah. Because one thing I know, if my brother goes to the door, the devil don't have no time with my brother. And he can't get to me because he got to get by my brother. Hallelujah. We are God's children. Hallelujah. We may stumble sometimes. Hallelujah. Brother Carl, I might have fell down in the water, but I heard the words that God said. If a man falls seven times, he'll get up. Hallelujah. You might have slipped. You might have fallen. You might have done something you had no business doing. But I know a Savior that set the pie and look down low. I know a Savior. He will bring you out of every circumstance, every situation because he loves you. You see where we mess up at. Hallelujah. We try to think like God. Hallelujah. You see we always say this. If I stumble and I fall, I'm not going to get up because I done fell from the grace of God. Look at here. Hallelujah. Peter asked the Lord one time, Lord, how many times should I forgive my brother? And Peter answers 
his own question. He said seven times. But I heard the Lord said seven times seventy. In other words, the many times your brother has forgiven, you forgive him. And God does the same thing to you and I. You might have stubbed your toe. You might have fell from the grace of God. You might have stopped along the wayside. But the Lord is standing there with outstretched arms and saying, come home, my children. Come on home, children. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It said about the prodigal son. Mother cousin told me one time how the prodigal son, the preacher was preaching about the prodigal son. Hallelujah. And he used his subject was, come on home, baby. Daddy's not mad at you. Hallelujah. And God is saying to you and I, come on home, baby. God's not mad at you. Come on home. I don't care what you have done. I don't care what pig pen you was in. I don't care how you smell. I don't care how you look. Just come on home. All I, come and let me. Come and let me clean you up. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of God. Hallelujah. Whosoever will, let them come. Hallelujah. You say, well, I'm not worthy. That's right. We were not worthy. But God deemed them. Hallelujah. I might have not been worthy to the fam, but God deemed me worthy. That's the reason I'm serving today because he deemed me worthy. Hallelujah. Come unto me, all you are labor and heavy laden. Take my yoke up on you and learn me. For I am meek and lowly. And you shall find rest for your soul. Hallelujah. Shake that devil over your back. Put him out of your mind. <laughs> Hallelujah. You know there used to be a car, a little cartoon like. <laughs> Hallelujah. Uh, the man was driving the car. <laughs> Hallelujah. On one side <laughs> was the devil. <laughs> On the other side <laughs> was the Lord. <laughs> and the devil would tell him, uh, put your foot to the metal. Go as fast as you can go. <laughs> Hallelujah. But the other one was saying, don't go any faster. You'll be breaking the laws. <laughs> Hallelujah. And the other one would come back and say, you go ahead. Head. You drive, you got control of this car. Go ahead and put that metal all the way down. Put that pedal all the way down to the metal and go as fast as you can. But the other one said, No, there's danger down around the bend. You can't see it around the bend. There's an accident waiting. There's an accident waiting for you. Hallelujah. That's the reason we need to say, Lord, open my eyes that I might see. Open my ears that I might understand. Touch my heart uh, that I might receive. Uh, hallelujah what you're trying to tell me. What you're trying to teach me. You see Jesus uh, is trying to keep you and I from being in a bad accident with the devil. He's an uninvited guest. I don't welcome him to my prayer when I'm surrendering the Lord. But he comes anyhow. Brother he, Brady, he comes anyhow. He comes, I don't care. I used to come here to go on a three-day fast, and I stay down here. And all we got down right here is to pray. And that's not worth being in a building at nighttime when there's no sounds outside, and you begin to pray. And I have had that demon say to me when I was praying I'm getting ready to come in the door I'm almost in and as God is my witness you could hear the door when it's like somebody opened it he said I'm coming down the aisle see what he's trying to do he's trying to distract you he's trying to get you out of your praying mood hallelujah so what I would do I just cried a little louder. Come on, Jesus. Help me, Jesus. Hallelujah. Bless me right now, Jesus. I need you. I need you to touch me, Lord, with a touch. Glory be in the name of God. And I would feel the hair that was standing up on the back of my neck. I could feel it when it was settling down. In other words, God was giving me peace and tell me, I got you covered. I got you covered. Hallelujah. Glory be the name of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I didn't bring you out of sin. I didn't bring you out of the things that you was in to 
See, if you go back there and stay, you might stumble and go back, but I'm there to bring you back out of it. I'm a God that loves you. Hallelujah. See, God don't see us like we think he sees us. Hallelujah. He sees us as his children, and he loves his children. Hallelujah. And he'll go through hell and high water for his children. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are somebody, Sister Pam. You might not think you somebody. When you look in the mirror, you say, oh, that ain't nothing but old Pam. Hallelujah. But God don't see it that way. We look through a mirror darkly. Hallelujah. We behold things not clear. Hallelujah. We see shadows. We see things that, that are not, praise God. Hallelujah. But what we need to do is get our eyes off the earthly things and set our eyes on heaven. Hallelujah. Praise God. Elevate your mind. Lift your heart up. Hallelujah. And praise the God who woke you up this morning. It was no alarm clock. I had an alarm clock set, but that alarm clock didn't wake me here. Hallelujah. Jesus woke me up an hour before the alarm was supposed to go off. Hallelujah. And, and, and when he woke me, he told me, he said, there is an uninvited guest that you have not welcomed in. See, if you, if you open your door and let a robber in your house, you're going to be robbed. That's his nature. He came for that reason to rob you. The devil come for that reason to rob and to steal and to kill, take away from us what God has given us. He don't want you praising God. The devil don't want to hear praise come out of our mouth. He don't want us even thinking about the goodness of Jesus and all that he's done for me. But he come to steal that. What God puts in, the devil steals it out. The devil throws the sin dirt up on us. But we need to learn to shake it off. Shake it off. Shake it off. And the more you shake it off, the closer you get to the top of getting out of your situation and your circumstances. I'm here today to tell you, you don't have to go through what you go through. You don't have to go what you've gone through. If God bored and carried our sickness, why in the world are we still carrying the sickness that God had already carried for us? It's a trick of the devil. Let me tell you this little story here. Y'all know the story of Adam and Eve in the garden? And they was allowed to eat everything in there but the tree of good and evil they were not supposed to eat of. So when Eve was deceived, the devil showed her the good side of the tree. He didn't show her the bad side of the tree. She saw the fruit was good. Fruit to be desired. And she partook of it. And when she partook of it, she gave to her a husband. And at that very precise moment, their eyes were open. Sister Pam, they had been naked from the time God created them. But he told me, in the day you eat of the tree of good and evil, your eyes would be open. Well, see, the devil wanted to deceive us with the fruit of the tree. He wants us to make us think it's good. You know why? You know why she thought it was good? Because the serpent was there eating himself. And he was wise. He was a serpent. He was talking. He was walking, serpent. So she saw the tree, so he showed it and said, God knows, God knows when you eat of this tree, you're going to be like God yourself. But if you ever noticed, he never did say, when you eat of the tree, you're going to be like me. Because when he was cursed, he said, from this day forth, sir, you go up on your belly. You ain't going to walk upright anymore. You're going to crawl up on the earth and the dust is going to be your food until the end of time. Stop wallowing in the dust. Just because you're made of dust, quit wallowing in the dust. He has made us intelligent beings. We have the knowledge of God inside of us. We have the wisdom of God inside of us. Oh, when Proverbs said, get wisdom and knowledge. 
Hallelujah. Get an understand without all you're getting, get an understanding. Hallelujah. Knowledge and wisdom is wonderful. But if you don't have an understanding of how to handle that knowledge and wisdom, it's not going to do you any good. I'm here today to tell you, hallelujah, that that uninvited guest is always going to be present. He'll be present to the day Jesus cast him completely out of our sight and into the hell damnation. Don't ever think Satan has got to come to hell to get to you tonight because Satan is not in hell. Satan is not in hell. He is the God of this world. He's the God of the air. He goes to and fro throughout the earth. He's the God of the earth. As reading the Bible said, love not the things of the world. Talking about the system, worldly system, of, it belongs to the devil. Does the devil have a hold of you? Let me tell you, here's how the devil gets a hold of you. Do you pray? Do you fast? Do you read your word? Do you give a testimony? All these things that you and I should be doing, because when we do that, we are giving the devil a black eye because we're acknowledging our God and our Lord and Savior, and we're rejecting him. He's an uninvited guest. You didn't invite him to your party. We would not in no way have him to come to a Holy Ghost party. But we want to praise God. We want to worship God. We want to have a good time. So I say unto you today, whatever you are going through, whatever storm you have encountered, whatever wave I might be rocking your boat, I tell you this. Get your eye on Jesus and get it off the problem. Are you sick? You know, some people say, there's somebody here, their back is hurting. Out of all these people in here, some, some of the back, it will be hurting. We got to learn to get our eye on Jesus and get our eye off the devil because he pulled us away from the devil now God is on the inside working to the outside. The devil is still outside trying to work to get on the inside. Greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. Hold on to God's unchanging hand. Praise God. Hallelujah.